홈팀 도전! 오, 와. 기구가 너무 심한 데요 선생님. 없어요. 음이 탈까지 인정해 줍니다. <웃음> 너무 어, 잘... 어, 한옥 탑을 올려버리는데? <웃음> 아, 웃겨. 아, 웃기지 마. 웃기지 마. 형이 웃겼어요. 형이. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I think we can all agree that the word boring doesn't really fit BTS. I mean, how can these boys be boring anyway? <웃음> 야, 하지 말라고 말해봐. 아, 아, 아. 오, 오, 패기, 패기. They have an amazing performance every single time, and they have the best stage presence in K-pop. And I know for a fact that they will not be dubbed as the greatest group of all time for nothing. So, no, BTS is never boring. You can stop and love me However, it seems like netizens are zooming in on a particular member this time. Specifically, Shuga is gaining attention because of his reserved attitude and quiet personality. To the point people are asking whether the rapper has a boring personality just because he doesn't talk much compared to the other members. Well, Shuka has a pretty good answer to that, and if you want to find out what Yoongi has to say, you better keep watching because you'll definitely love it. Okay, let's get started. Armies know that Shuga is BTS's unofficial grandpa, and for good reason since the rapper has this amazing ability to stay calm and level-headed even when his members are the complete opposite. I mean, the members can be a handful sometimes, right? Continuing from that note, since the members can be crazy and loud sometimes, staying together without arguing is impossible. It's not a simple task, but Shuga actually managed to remain at peace and reasonable whenever things were a little rough. So, I bet you guys are wondering how. Well, the rapper shared in their recent interview with GQ magazine that he tries to look at difficult situations from a third person's perspective. Specifically, what Yoongi said was, quote, when things get heated, I stop everything so that I can think. This is probably why I don't get into arguments. Suga did make it sound easy, but I bet it takes a lot of patience to do that. Maybe this is the reason why he earned the nickname Lil Meow Meow Meow. The reason behind this cute nickname is that fans think Shuga has a lot of similarities with cats, since he is very patient, relaxed, and gentle. However, we also know that cats can be savage if they want to, like they are very sassy animals and felines can get a lot bossy at times. Surprisingly, Shuga has his side too, and the rapper is anything but boring when he activates his savage mode. Like this guy calls himself a genius. He writes awesome music, performs with amazing stage presence, and is basically a trendsetter. He is the most interesting person out there, but in case you had doubts, allow me to elaborate further. Can you call someone who literally threw a camera to the pool just to test whether it's waterproof or not? This happened on BTS's summer package 2015. So the boys were at Kota Kinabalu, Malaysia, enjoying the tropics. Of course, they had to check out the pool and that's exactly what Yoongi and Hobi did when they were handed a camera. Anyway, long story short, the staff told them that the camera is waterproof and what better way to prove its durability than to throw it directly into the pool, right? Yoongi can also be sassy on stage, just like how he dropped his mic mid-performance just to prove that they don't lip sync and that they are performing live every single time. King behavior, right? Shuko's savageness doesn't end there because he can also be very savage around his members. I know, I know, I already mentioned that he is very calm and collected when it comes to his members, but he is human too, so don't be surprised when Yoongi explodes, but he doesn't get angry. Like, he gets annoyed, yes, but he expresses his emotions in a different way. I mean, do you remember that time he literally spoke English right after RM said that the members cannot speak the language? Just look at RM's face, or when he basically gave his leader the finger just to stop him from speaking English. Oh, those were the good times, right? RM is not the only member who suffers from Shuga's antics since the eldest had his own fair share 
of experience. So when Jin held a birthday party on V-Life, he decided it was the perfect timing to call his members, since we all know armies wanted to hear them greet their young on his special day. When it was Shuko's turn though, their phone call was cut short since when he was asked what he wanted to say to Jin, the rapper told him to grow up. That was Jin's cue to end the call. Not to mention how he blatantly ignored Hyung's effort to do a big heart with him during a fan sign or when he called him a shattered statue. Whew. Poor Jin. The Magne line wasn't spared as well since Yoongi doesn't let anyone pass him unscathed. Which is why when Jimin and Jungkook were overly fascinated after seeing a camel, Suga almost instantly deadpanned them when they asked whether it's the real thing they were seeing. Suga just sarcastically asked them, quote, That seems like a human to you, and it's the sassiest he had ever been. Well, I guess that is nothing compared to the time when Suga literally threatened V when they were playing hide and seek. It's the nervous laugh from V that made the situation a lot funnier. Yoongi would also ignore V's egg a lot of times and it seems like Tae's cuteness doesn't affect him at all. Suga also has the best response when it comes to rude comments. The rapper has a sharp tongue for a reason and nope. Not literally. I mean, he has the best flow and rapping skills for a reason since he always handles hard questions like a pro. Just like when BTS was asked about the plagiarism issue. This happened during their press conference for Map of the Soul Persona. And while everyone was excited about their new album, an interviewer decided to ruin the fun by asking inappropriate questions. RM was obviously taken aback. Even the other members were. Luckily, Shuga was not having any of it and decided to shut down the rude interviewer once once and for all. The rapper kept his answer short, simple, but straight to the point when he said that their company is handling it and put an end to it with a solid thank you. Well, that's how you shut down rude people. Simple, but straightforward. Shuga also never cowers when it comes to haters. Heck, he had called out a lot of sasangs before and it's just satisfying to hear him address such a sensitive issue that no one dares to talk about. I think one of the most savage moments he has is when he called out haters who were leaving malicious comments during a V Live. An army actually asked him whether hate comments hurt him, since we all know how things can get pretty messy for the boys because they are always under the scrutiny of the public. Luckily though, Suga told his fans that they don't have to worry since he doesn't read them, since he's busy with his own life and the last thing he wants is to waste his time for their negativity. In his V Live, Suga said, I'm sorry, but I don't get it on the internet often. That's why I don't really know the latest trending words. I usually just use it to monitor our broadcast, so I don't even get the chance to see malicious comments comments. He also made sure to let his message across saying, quote, I don't read them. You're going to write them and someone's going to sue. There's nothing good to come out of it. I don't read malicious comments. Most armies found his mindset really cool since it's super hard to maintain such a strong mentality, especially in an environment as toxic as theirs. Fortunately, Shuka is one heck of a fighter, and even though he can be reserved and quiet at times, Yoongi has proven countless times that he is everything but boring, since come on, he's Shuka for Pete's sake, he will never be boring. Anyway, what do you guys think? Let us know what your favorite Shuga moment is. Also, make sure to give this video a like and stay tuned for more. See you next time.